Everyone should understand quantum mechanics because it's it's just about the coolest thing that there is in physics, and it's it's actually at the heart of uh, lots of the technologies that we we use today. Um, it it would be impossible to make computer chips if we didn't understand that how things go together in a quantum manner to make solids. Um, lasers rely on quantum mechanics, so all your, everything from supermarket scanners to telecommunications lines are are based on on quantum physics at the at the most basic level. Quantum physics is confusing for humans because we come to the world with a lot of preconceptions. Dogs tend to, uh, they approach the world constantly as a, a source of surprise and wonder. If you've ever seen a dog you know, in the kitchen, it would, it would be absolutely no surprise to a dog to have, have treats magically appear out of thin air. And she, you know, my dog at least, would regard that as vindication. She's always looking for them. For humans, that, that would be kind of alarming. Um, so it, it's really strange when we encounter things like the idea of virtual particles. Uh, particles that pop into existence out of nowhere that uh, have measurable effects on, on the interactions of, of atoms and electrons. And, you know, a dog takes that in stride where a human would be, you know, is a little freaked out. But if you can learn to see the world uh, a little bit the way a dog does, then uh, you, you're in a better position to approach quantum physics. The inspiration for it was actually, uh, it, was, it was a weird, I was in a weird mood one day and uh, decided to post something silly on my weblog and uh, made up this conversation with the dog about physics and uh, posted it and then a, a very large number of people read it and one of them contacted me and said, you know, this would be a great idea for a book. And, and my first reaction was, really? But, uh, you know, they, they talked me into it and it, it turns out that it works really well. Um, as far as the, the talking to the dog, talking to the dog is something that I've done since pretty much since we got the dog um, to make my wife laugh. So I'll carry on elaborate conversations with the dog, supplying her half of the conversation in a silly voice. Quantum physics is really cool. The universe that we live in um, at the microscopic scale is actually a, a radically different place than, than what we see around us every day. Uh, with you know, dogs and cats and tennis balls and squeaky toys all behave sort of very classically in an in a intuitive manner. But if you get down to the things that make those up, uh, the rules are very different. And, and the universe that we live in is really a, a, a profoundly weird place. There are these fascinating uh, properties that, that particles have and phenomena that you can, can see when you start looking at the quantum regime. And that is just about the coolest thing in the world.